guys welcome to today's video geek drums nation how are you guys doing today in today's video we will be talking about jordan elsass leaving the role of jonathan kent for the upcoming third season of superman and lois now before you guys you know start freaking out he was not fired he left i'm seeing people all over social media talking about oh he was fired oh he left because the show sucked all this all this other stuff and it's a personal issue now myself and others honestly believe that it was a mental health thing he did post on instagram a few uh, either a few weeks or months ago uh the post has since been deleted but he was talking about his struggles with uh, mental health and how to properly handle that and if that was the case i wish him all the best now what i do not believe is that this had anything to do with COVID 19 restrictions or anything like that um he's always said that he had medical exemptions and if it was a problem, it would have been a problem before season three. All right. They made the vaccinations mandatory for everybody on set last year. So even well, the year before that, sorry, it's always been a thing on film sets. Like they were firing actors left and right for saying they would not get vaccinated. Um, I mean, even over at Disney, you had actors who had religious reasons as to why and they were fired. This is a medical reason. From what I understand from a video he posted back in February. So I honestly believe he left from, uh, you know, from his own personal reasons. And that's what's cited in these various articles. So what I want to do is I want to pull up the Variety article and I'll just, you know, read from there. I'm not reading from Deadline, not reading from anybody else. I'll trust Variety over anything. So let me just get this. Let me get this pulled up. All right. So. This is the article from Variety titled Superman and Lois Recasting Jonathan Kent as Jordan Elsass Exit Series. Um, it reads as follows. Jordan Elsass will not be returning for the third season of Superman and Lois. In a statement released on Tuesday evening, Warner Brothers Television cited personal reasons in its explanation for why the actor would not reprise his role as Jonathan Kent, which will now be recast. Jordan Elsass has notified the studio that he will not be returning to Superman and Lois for season three due to personal reasons, Warner Brothers Television said in a statement on Tuesday evening. The role of Jonathan Kent will be recast. No get, no exact details regarding Elsass's departure from the series, excuse me, were given by the network. However, the actor's exit is not a result of workplace-related issue, according to sources close to this production. Superman and Lois follows the titular Man of Steel, uh, played by Tyler Hecklin, the celebrated journalist Lois Lane, played by Elizabeth Tullock, and their two teenage sons, Jordan Kent, played by Alexander Garfin, and Jonathan Kent. The series takes place in the CW's Arrowverse that is incorrect um, of content, a universe of DC characters that began with its superhero series Arrow and including shows like The Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. I don't know if this person was notified that that is very, very false, but... um. News of El Saz's exit comes exactly six weeks after the series aired its season two finale. Insiders state that production on the third season is set to begin in Vancouver in the near future, though El Saz had not been able to reach the location by deadline. Superman and Lois comes from Berlanti Productions in association with Warner Brothers Television. Greg Berlanti, Todd Helping, serve as executive producers, along with Sarah Schechter and Jeff Johns, yada, yada, yada. All right. Now. Yes, this role will be recast. Whoever they do pick, I'm sure they will, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure they will do a fine job. You know, when a role is recast, nobody can ever truly, truly recapture that same, that same magic, especially when it's a, when it's so sudden like this, like nobody expected this news. Us as, you know, DC fans and, you know, being fans of stuff coming from Warner Brothers, we've been taking hit after hit after hit. Since April, I will keep saying that we have been taking hit after hit. And this is just another one that I did not expect to get on uh, last night. But nonetheless, I respect his decision. Now, for who I think can, I, I think somebody can replace him. Um, well, not ever truly replace, but they could step into that role. It's a young actor named Vince Mattis. He was handpicked by Tyler Hecklin to play his son in the Teen Wolf series, in the Teen Wolf film that's getting ready to come out. Uh, Tyler Hecklin handpicked him. Uh, he kind of has the look of Jordan Elsass. I'm about to bring up his picture. 
This is him. This is Vince Mattis. He is playing uh, the son of Derek Hale, Eli Hale, in the uh, upcoming Teen Wolf film. And I think that um, obviously he has chemistry with Tyler. Tyler, like, handpicked him himself if he said, that's who I want to be my son. He has chemistry. Um, I honestly believe that he would – he could jump into the cast seamlessly. You know, that's just my opinion. Uh, but that's just the one actor that immediately popped into my head when I saw that they were going to be recasting the role. But uh, what do you guys think? It's a wait-and-see type of thing. Um, they were supposed to start filming in about two weeks, I believe. This show is no stranger to delays, so – I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. They, The show isn't out to air until early to mid-January at that, and that's just me throwing out a time frame. I'm not confirming anything. But uh, if they were to, you know, they were to delay filming for this reason, it's completely understandable. Uh, like I said, it does suck that Jordan has stepped away, but – if it's for, you know, stuff pertaining to his mental health, I I respect his decision. It's personal issues. I respect that decision. Um, I wish him all the best, and I just hope he gets better, and I can't wait to see what he's in in the coming future. So uh, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know if you want to, you know, throw out your opinion. If you have a different argument, let me know. Let's have a conversation. Uh, like I said before, thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you could share this video, like this video, turn on the alert button so you can be alerted to when I post new stuff. Um, I'll catch you guys later.